In order to understand this, we must go back to the root and understand this. So let's make it make sense. The pancreas plays an essential role in converting the food we eat into fuel, and we're specifically going to focus on glucose. For example, you eat a bowl of pasta, which causes your blood glucose level to increase. Glucose is our body's main source of energy, but it cannot do its job to provide that energy until it enters your cells. The only way to enter your body's cells is with the help of a hormone called insulin. Now, in response to the pasta you ate, beta cells in the pancreas produce and release this insulin, which will bind to glucose and allow it to enter your cells to do its job. And when your body doesn't immediately need glucose for energy, it will store it in the liver in the form glycogen for later use. The result of this process is a happy, healthy, regulated blood sugar. Once we know this normal function, it is so easy to break down diabetes. For example, in type 1, you have none, meaning the beta cells in your pancreas are not producing any insulin. And for type 2, you have few, meaning beta cells are producing few insulin receptors that are not very responsive to glucose. In both cases, we see the pancreas and insulin not performing their normal function, which means glucose cannot do its job either. Glucose builds up in the bloodstream and boom, we have diabetes. That, my friends, is how you study for pathophysiology.